for it TV. The world is thinking. Is time travel possible? Well, maybe, maybe not. John Wheeler, I mentioned at the beginning, he produced the idea of a wormhole, a shortcut through space. Now, whether you could actually make one is highly debatable. You need negative energy. And there is something, dark energy might be negative energy, to make one. But if you do, it's a shortcut through space. And here is a possible scenario. I want to go to Andromeda in my Mark 10 spaceship. There it is. Notice it's a very green spaceship because it takes matter and antimatter, annihilates them just to produce photons, so there's no CO2 emission. When they talk about these zero emission things, they tend to forget you've got to make the electricity to run them, don't they? So it's not quite as good as that. Anyway, off I go. I want to go to Andromeda. Now, my wife doesn't like travelling very much, but she would like to see what Andromeda's like. So what I do is I make a wormhole from my lounge into the middle of the spacecraft. And I can get into the spacecraft either by going through the wormhole or going out into the garden onto my launch pad. Oh, by the way, can you see we've got the high-tech communication system to talk to me? <laughs> now, I travel at that speed, pretty close to the speed of light, and I reach Andromeda in four hours. That's pretty good going. And because I've actually made the, um, you'll see in a minute, I, I've made the wormhole look through the portal, my wife can see it. But look, you might think the wormhole has to stretch. Apparently it doesn't. One end stays in my, in, in my house at home, the other end is still in the spacecraft, but it's no longer. Right? It's still just a very short wormhole. So basically, the further away I am, the better the shortcut is. And my wife can see what Andromeda looks like, looking through the portal, which is quite clever. Anyway, I start getting hungry, so I turn around and I come back at the same speed, and it takes me eight hours. And I land, hopefully, on my lawn. But everything's different. Because, you see, as measured by time on Earth, it's taken me about 5,000 million years to get there and back, do you see? Because Andromeda is two and a half million light years away. So I've actually gone into the future by five million years, and everything's different. I think my house would still be above water because I live in the hills near Macclesfield, but that's something. Now, anyway, I, I have a look around, don't like it much. I leave the door open, I come back in, I'm hungry, so I climb through the wormhole back into my lounge. In doing so, I have gone back five million years in time. So I've become a time traveller in that sense. The important thing, though, that journey through time has ch changed a wormhole, which is a tunnel through space, into a tunnel through time. And if other people, five million years in the future, open the door of my spacecraft, climb through the wormhole, they could come back to now. Do you see that? They could come back. There is an interesting point, though, a significant point. It's probably apparent to you that they can't go any further back in time until the time I made the time machine. And that is true of every possible time machine that anyone has conceived. As no one has yet made a time machine, that probably explains why we don't see any time travellers. So we've got to